What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day so far and just thank you guys so much for joining me back and seeing what I'm up to. So today's video is going to be my current hair care routine. So it's been about a year since my last one and my last one actually was just like a curly hair routine and this one's just a little bit different. My routine's a little different and the products that I'm using now are are quite different too. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys pictures as far as like where my hair used to be and kind of the journey that my hair has been on over the past year. So you guys can kind of see like the progress my hair has made. Cause you guys, seriously, these products have been game changers. And this is honestly the healthiest my hair has been in a really, really long time. My hair has grown out so fast and I'll share with you guys like all the products, but also tips and tricks to get your hair to grow really fast too. So with all that being said, if you guys are interested to know what my hair care routine is, then just keep watching. Oh, Laura, you want to come say hi? Come here. <laughs> say hi. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm helping my mom today. She's excited. So if you guys hear some noise coming from this area, or you see like a little flower poking over here, she's joining me today. So I'm going to basically break everything down from the beginning of my routine to the very end and just touch very lightly on each product and each step while trying to still be descriptive because a lot of you guys wanted as much information as possible but again I don't think people want to be here for like three hours yeah okay so I'm gonna do my very best so the very first thing that I like to do is use my curls blissful lengths hair growth oil now this is what I like to use the night before I know I'm gonna wash my hair which I typically do like once to twice a week but the key with this is to give your scalp a very nice massage using this oil so what I find and what's really really helped me out is when I apply it to the roots of my hair into my scalp and I'm giving my head a nice massage I actually like to kind of bend over so I'm kind of like upside down in a way which I feel really helps like the circulation with the blood flowing to your head I feel like it's doing something and I really think that it really has helped my hair grow faster and I also like to use this tool. Can I borrow this for a second? Thank you. Here I'll give you this one. Thank you. And I actually like to use this. <laughs> um, this was only like five or six dollars at the drugstore um, but I also like to use this and it's also just so relaxing and again it's just all about just kind of stimulating the scalp and just really letting the oils like soak in and it's just again it's just it's a very relaxing part of my routine that i really really enjoy doing the one thing that i have completely eliminated from my routine that i used to do um for all my life <laughs> was i no longer use any kind of shampoo at all whatsoever it's all about this baby and it is the coconut co-wash you guys first of all if you guys like coconut you guys will be a huge fan of the smell of this you guys it smells amazing it's basically just a cleansing cream conditioner so what it's going to basically do is just really give your scalp a nice good wash with no lather so you're not going to get all the bubbles and stuff so if you're pure into all that sorry but you're not going to get it with this guy um, but it really does a good job of cleaning your hair while still conditioning it at the same time this is probably one of the products in my routine that I've had the longest and I've gone through so many containers of this this you can use all over and it works amazing all right, so moving on to conditioner. Now this one is fairly new, but off the bat, I could tell it was completely different than any other conditioner that I had tried, which is crazy because I hadn't really seen it before, but there's one word that was in the title that completely just like whoosh, drew me in, and that is the Schwarzkopf Essence all time oh, something or other but it is the Satin Frizz Control and Protect Conditioner 40 hour anti-fit fizz can I talk or no? <laughs> Anti-frizz, fast drying with satin smooth serum for uncontrolled frizzy hair. It's like they're speaking to me. You know what I mean? Like this was made for me. <laughs> um, now that I live in Hawaii, the humidity here is unreal. So things let's say like anti-frizz, frizz control, like I'm completely drawn to it and I have to give it a try. This is the same brand that did the hair dye that I used here recently. So, so far I'm highly what are you doing? She's loving that hair tool. Say hi! So yeah, I'm highly impressed with this brand. I don't know if I mentioned it here on my channel, but I recently colored my hair just so it was all kind of one color. And it's from this Schwarzkopf. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name. Um, but it's from this line, and I can go in a completely different tangent on that hair dye because 
amaze balls. That's all I'm gonna say. Amazing. This isn't one of those conditioners either, which is really it's really interesting because you know how there's conditioners that when you rinse it off, your hair feels very like silky in the shower. It doesn't leave your hair like that, but once it dries, you just feel your hair so light and airy and soft and fluffy. Like it just you guys, you have to try this conditioner out. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're gonna move on to like styling products or leave-in condition leave conditioners. So the very first one that I'm gonna talk about, <laughs> the very first one that I wanna talk about is from Verb, and it is a leave-in mist detangle defrizz, defrizz, um, and conditioning. I got this from Sephora. So it says it moisturizes, it smooths, it adds shine, protects from heat, detangles, tames frizz, prevents breakage. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So I was like, wow, like they're really hyping it up. Like it better be good. It's like claiming to do all this stuff. And it does. Oh, does it do all that stuff? This is going to be a ride or die for me. We have a lifelong partnership, this product and I for sure. I'm committed. <laughs> and the two products that I use for whatever style that I plan on doing that day is the Moroccan Oil Smoothing Lotion and just the Moroccan Oil. And what I like to do is get a pump of each, work it into my hands, section my hair into four sections, and just work it from the tip all the way up. Not, it doesn't touch my roots, but maybe like an inch down, and then just kind of finger comb the product in and let my hair air dry. And if I'm on a time crunch and I have somewhere to go and I can't show up with wet hair, I diffuse my hair. But typically I like to just let my hair dry on its own, do its own thing, and leave it alone. For the most part, you guys, whether it's wavy, whether it's curly, whether I'm going to blow dry it, these are the only two products that I use. And I pick these up at my local hair salon, so I don't know... I want to say that you can pick these up at all time. I'm not 100% sure. I'll try to look it up for you guys. But the smell is amazing. It works amazing. It's a very lightweight, which has been like the biggest problem is finding products that not only, you know, tame the frizz, that condition my hair and do all that stuff, but that still leave it lightweight. My problem with some of the products that I was using before was that it was working really good, but because I only like to wash my hair like once or twice a week, like by day three, my hair just looked very oily and kind of greasy and then I would have to find a style to wear like I couldn't rock it down because it just looked dirty so with these ones I'm able to you know rock two three four day hair sometimes and it doesn't look greasy or oily or anything like that so these come very highly recommended and I will find out for you guys if they carry them like at other stores um, instead of just hair salons so yeah, moving on. Alright guys, the next thing that I want to talk about is It's a 10 America Leave-In Potion Plus Keratin. Now this is not an everyday thing, nor an every time I wash my hair thing. This is like a once every two weeks, a um, few times a month kind of thing. Just because I find that the products that I already use do such a great job at conditioning my hair anyways, that there's really no need... Ah! that there's really no need for like that much more. So on days where I just find that my hair just needs extra moisture, like if I've been at the beach that day or I was out in the sun for like a long time and I can really feel like the ends of my hair just needing some extra oomph, this is what I like to use. I only get a pump of this, work it in my hands again, just apply it to the ends of my hair, brings my hair right back to life. So this I picked up from Ulta, I know for sure, and this is the Matrix Exquisite Oil Manoi Oil Blend, and it is a softening treatment for coarse hair. So this is another one of those things that's really gonna tame those flyaways, just really put your frizz at ease, or at least just kind of make it a little bit more manageable. <laughs> just saves your hair very, very shiny and it just smells nice, you guys. It smells just like plumeria flowers. So if you've ever smelled a plumeria before, they're all over the island here. It smells just like those and I'm obsessed with those flowers. I'm obsessed with that smell. So this is just like an extra treat for me. So once I've styled my hair, this is what I like to use afterwards. So I just take a little pump of this, again, rub it in my hands and just lay everything nice and flat. So the last thing that I want to talk about is the Dove Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo. So like I mentioned earlier, I only like to wash my hair like once or twice a week. And um, now that I'm going to the gym and I'm working out, um, I might get all sweaty, um, my hair definitely needs a little bit of something something to just make it look nice and refreshed and things like that in between washes. And this has been the best dry shampoo that I have found on the market. I find that if you spray a little too close, it'll leave a white cast. So as long as you're kind of distancing 
you know the product from your head you know far enough you shouldn't have a problem but it smells really nice it just leaves your hair just like very refreshed and just kind of reboots it I guess you can say so those are the products that I used that's it very very small but it is like my little core family of, of products that just like it does me right you know what I mean I'm committed to these guys and these guys obviously are committed to me because they really help me out so let's kind of just talk a little bit about really fast where my hair was and um, just some tips and tricks that have also helped me out in addition to using these products so the first tip that I have is to use a microfiber towel or this is kind of like one of those little like hoodie like turban hoodie things um these are like five bucks at walmart it's the turby twist and it's so worth it you guys and um i used to just use a bi basic regular towel before and i found that it would leave my hair so much frizzier it would rip my hair out especially because my hair is wet and your hair is at its weakest when it's wet so that's the last thing you want is something like ripping your hair out and tugging at your hair so this is incredibly soft just very very light very comfortable to wear i've worn this asleep like while I'm sleeping before and it's so easy because it just wraps around you tie it through this little loop here and bada bing bada boom you're done so worth the five bucks you guys if anything just get a towel that's this type of material or even like a t-shirt a t-shirt works just fine so whenever I wash this and it's, it's dirty and I don't have anything else to use I'll just use a t-shirt and call it good so that's gonna help really prevent frizz and really help from ripping your hair out and you know that's never fun <laughs> okay so I'm gonna quickly touch on basically like where my hair was like a year ago to like where it is now so up until this time last year I was always applying heat to my hair I always wanted it pin straight it was always heat upon heat upon heat so many times a week and it killed my curl pattern it killed my hair my hair was always very dry and straw like and it just looked so unhealthy it was very dull it didn't look shiny and it was so much thinner my number one tip would be to lay off the heat you guys and as hard as it is because I went through that very awkward like period where your hair just looks a hot mess because it's not really curly but it's not really straight and you have all these like very pin straight like sections of your hair and pieces that are really curly and it just looks very awkward and weird and so during those periods what I found is to just do different styles that look nice that you know make you feel good um, but will allow your hair to start the recovery process and start you know getting your hair back to what it used to be when I do blow dry my hair I like to use a very warm setting and it takes me longer um, so what I like to do is wait till my hair is about 75% dry and then I'll go in with the hair dryer and just kind of style it you know what I mean so I'm not really drying my hair because my hair is pretty much dry I'm just more so going in to style it I don't like to apply heat to my hair anymore it drives me crazy today I did it because I really wanted to see like just how long my hair was so you guys can see where my hair used to be compared to where it is now so you're able to see like the length difference but yeah this is the first time that I've straightened my hair in probably like a year and um, it's a fun change but definitely not something that I like to do nor do I miss doing like on a day-to-day -day basis another thing that I really felt that's helped my hair out is doing like masks so I highly recommend looking up just different recipes there's so many different amazing recipes um, or like different like oil concoctions I have like rose hip oil I have almond oil I have um, jojoba oil and I'll just kind of do little different cocktails every once in a while and then just give my hair like a really nice treat another thing that I like to do is take a wet or like moist microfiber towel or a t-shirt just lightly dampen it put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds just so that it's warm not like scolding hot but apply whatever mask or conditioner that you want to your hair put it up in a bun or whatever in the towel is fine and the heat from the shirt or the towel will really help penetrate that conditioner or that mask into like your hair into your scalp and that's another game changer it's really helped me out love doing that and it's also very <laughs> my routine now is very simple the products that I use are so much less than what I used to before I had so many different steps and so many things that I was doing I wanted to use this serum this lotion you know this mask and it was just way too much and there is a point where it becomes just overkill on your hair using too much stuff so I feel like this the more simplified your routine is and the minimal products that you use I think it's just that much better for your hair too I think less is more um, for a lot of things and I think this is one of them I don't think it needs a lot 
to be happy and to do what it's meant to do. You know what I mean? So I think all of those steps have really helped my hair. And if you guys have any other questions or anything that I missed, um, please leave it as a question below. And I'll do my best to answer them. Um, <laughs> and until next time, we'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we'll talk to you later. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Say bye. Can you say bye? Say bye. Alright guys, bye.